Virgo, how you doing? It's Dharma here to do a reading for you. My readings tend to last from reading to reading. And don't forget to join us every morning on the membership side of this channel for the Daily Moon. We get together, we have coffee, we chat. It's tons of fun. And we'll also be doing yoga over there soon, too. So check it out, okay? What do we have for Virgo this week? Six of Swords. Moving on, moving forward. She's... It's almost like... Okay, look. It's like Spirit is taking her this is her okay spirit is like come on come with me and she's like okay and she does get on the boat but she is looking back looking directly back trying to see if she can see better like she's adjusting her spectacles like did i really see what i think i saw did i really see what i think that i saw because I feel like whatever the sight was that you saw was the thing that made you lift up anchors, your wheel of fortune. It was the thing that made you end something. You may have known you were gonna do that anyway, but you needed a reason to. Like you needed a real solid reason to be like, okay, I'm just not gonna do this anymore. And you're being given the reason the muse of inspiration exactly it's like you put it out there somehow or other spirit i need make sure the microphone is on spirit i need confirmation that i'm doing the right thing and they give it to you and it caused an ending or it caused some kind of change or something like that and here we are in the present moving forward and someone's looking back like Am I sure that I did the right thing? Am I sure that I'm doing this based on... It's like almost leaving your spiritual intuition and going toward fight or flight, panicky, whatever. Justice. And it's like you're really trying to crack open. And then you're like, I don't know if I can do this. I was going to say crack open your mind space to like really look down deep in there like is this the right thing to do this is huge this is this is really really huge and you're like i don't know if i can you might take some time and do some kind of therapy like retail therapy or like a spa day or something. somebody really is just taking some time to Think about it. And then bam, we get this like wave of emotion. It's a, it's a, I was going to say it's a trigger. You might do some things that are really healthy, like hang out by yourself and listen to some good music and take some time to do whatever this is that you're feeling like doing. And then bam, you get a, it's a trigger moment. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's looking back like I'm not entirely sure that I'm doing the right thing. And then you're getting this awakening moment where you are indeed sure. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. In the higher font. It's the hardest thing. It's the hardest decision you'll ever have to make. Ace of Swords, but Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, you and Five of Pentacles, you know that you have been duped, I guess. I guess that no that makes it no longer a hard decision. It's just it might even be the hardest truth you'll ever have to face. Because Someone's looking back at something now with clear sight, right? Just to make sure. And what they find there is Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords. I mean, that's it's very sad. Somebody's very sad about an ending. Like, very, 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 very sad about an ending. But then you have progress. This may have already happened. That's what I'm saying. 
we have, with the first card that you have is this um, Six of Swords. And Spirit was like, let's go. And she's already on the boat. She's just looking back. And it's almost like she's having this spa day or doing whatever it is. Just this moment. It could even be, it just, it depends on who you are as a person. Like, I totally would do a spa day, but I could also totally get down with just sitting on a porch somewhere quietly and thinking. Right? And it's like somebody gets all these flashes. This awakening moment of the accumulation quote of this entire soul contract has been five of pentacles which is poverty loss being left out feeling neglected three of swords which is a lot of tears ace of swords which is finding out the truth about things all the time and then the seven of swords which is covered in foxes which is somebody doing something for their own benefit And now, and now, it's a barrier to an established something or other. So let's talk about what happens when she's just looking back. And it does look like there's a moment where someone gets real clarity because spirit or whoever, because they don't, they don't really want to go. They don't really want to go at all. And they're like, I need, they're looking back and your guides or whoever really kind spiritual helpers or could be a real person. Like, what is it that you're missing? And she's like, I don't know. That's my, I just want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing because it's such a huge deal. And your guides or whoever are like, okay, Remember when this happened and this 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 and she's like, yep, they're like, can we lift up anchor now? Do you remember all those things? I don't even and and she's like, okay, so. So she says, okay, I just want to keep being like she says, okay, she's like, it's almost like she's talking to her guides like, okay. Like I, I, and I just saw, well, I looked up and I thought I saw 777, but that's not possible on a timer. Weird. And then the muse of voices. So it's like first they give you the motivation to do it. And they as in spirit or whoever, your muse, your muse could be within yourself, your own thoughts. First you get the motivation to do it with the inspiration. Then you get the muse of voices. So you're given logic and reason for why that it you should continue come with us come with us on this boat let's go you had plenty of time to look back the higher font but you're like i don't and it look she's walking up to this like oracle like why do i feel like this is so wrong if everything in me is telling me that it's so right and then i heard because it's attached to you I heard, well, how do you break it the star That is almost exactly what an energetic cord looks like, almost. And I heard redirect. Look this way. Like there's cords all over you, but look this way and look at this cord. Put your focus on a different cord. Did we talk about the fact that we think that they dissolve instead of cutting them? There's something, I don't want to say bad or wrong, but I have heard from multiple places that cutting the cord is not how you do it. In cauterizing, that's not how you do it. It's just energy. It can go here, it can go there, and it's. I think it's a matter of, I don't know, non-acceptance or something like that, but this is about look over here. It's almost like you're asking your guides for, show me a reason why. Give me one reason to stay here, right? And they're like, and then you're like, okay, so I get it, but what's over there? What for? And they're like, oh my goodness, look. And they give you some kind of vision or some kind of, and she's all, <gasps> when she sees it, I'm saying she because it's a girl in this picture. It doesn't have to be a she. Oh my goodness, there it is again. It's a third eye awakening. It's a heart chakra awakening. 
something that she both loved and dreamed about. They're like, look. And she's like, I can't. <laughs> I can't look at it. <clears throat> it hurts too bad. I don't even know if she has an inclination of what this is this might be that she's looking at, but she, it's a reconciliation. A three of cups, someone's standing there on the other side. And seven of emotion, she's like, when she sees it, she's like, I don't, I keep saying she because these are all girls, okay? Please don't put gender with us. It just makes it easier for my flow. It's just like, I don't know. It's almost too soon. I heard, but it's what you asked for. It was the, it was like blindingly the only thing that you were willing to accept. You may even have made that kind of clear with spirit. Like this is what I want and that is the way it is. And they were like, okay. And now that you're getting it, you're kind of staying there at rock bottom like because everything else had to be stripped away and you're like, wow. <sighs> They're like, have a look. And you're like, I don't, I'm scared, basically. So let's uh, continue this story um, in an extended version. The link for that's going to be in the box below. Take my website, dharmajane.com, or you can join the membership side of this, Extendaholics, and all of those are unlimited, okay? And don't forget to check us out in the morning for um, coffee and yoga and tarot and all kinds of cool things on the membership side as well. Till next time, have a good one.